Hello students, uh, today we are going to discuss pathophysiology and uh, clinical symptoms of emphysema. Now emphysema is a disease of lungs and it is a largely an irreversible disease. Now in order to understand definition of emphysema, let's first understand structure of the bronchial tree. Now here trachea is a hollow tube like structure also called as windpipe. Trachea branches into two uh, branches termed as bronchi, a single branch is termed as bronchus whereas the two are termed as bronchi. Uh, the bronchi then again branch uh, to produce bronchioles, smaller branches called as the bronchioles. Now a terminal bronchiole, it is one of the branches of the bronchiole and it conducts air uh, into the respiratory bronchiole. From the respiratory bronchiole, the air moves uh, into the uh, alveolar duct and from the alveolar duct into the uh, alveoli or the air sacs where the gaseous exchange takes place. Now these structures are, that is a trachea, bronchi and bronchiole along with the terminal bronchiole, uh, they are referred to as a conducting airways as their main function is to conduct the air uh, to the alveoli. Whereas respiratory bronchiole, uh, then the alveolar duct and the alveoli, uh, they are the main structures uh, that are required for the actual gaseous exchange uh, that takes place in the um, alveoli. Now this is another diagram. Now this diagram shows alveoli or the air sacs. So these are alveoli or the air sacs uh, which are green colored and capillary network. This is the capillary network. Now these capillaries they are the branches of uh, pulmonary venules and pulmonary arterioles. Now the wall of alveoli or the air sacs uh, is made up of single layer of squamous epithelial cells and uh, uh, these alveoli uh, they are supported by the elastic fibers. Now all the respiratory passages uh, from the alveoli that is alveolar duct and the uh, respiratory bronchiole uh, they are supported by elastic connective tissue and these alveoli they are surrounded by the network of capillaries for the exchange of carbon dioxide and oxygen. Uh, so now coming to the definition emphysema is a uh, is the widespread destruction of uh, gas exchanging tissue uh, distal to the terminal bronchioles uh, that is primarily destruction of the wall of alveoli or the air spaces resulting in the reduced gas exchange and shortness of breath. So the main cause of uh, emphysema is the destruction of the uh, alveolar wall uh, which results in the reduced uh, exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide and shortness of breath that is the uh, dyspnea. Now the most uh, coming to the causes of emphysema, the single most important cause of emphysema is the cigarette smoke. Now apart from this pollutants, air pollutants like sulfur dioxide, then alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency, toxic fumes are the other causes of emphysema. Now let's understand pathophysiology of emphysema with the help of a, single, a simple schematic diagram. Now as we have seen and discussed that cigarette smoke is the most important cause of uh, emphysema. Now these smoke particles they are inhaled. Now in the lungs these, uh, uh, these smoke particles they are engulfed uh, by the alveolar macrophages. Now during the process of phagocytosis alveolar macrophages release inflammatory mediators uh, that is the cytokines and chemokines which induce inflammation of the respiratory mucosa. Further there is, uh, there is infiltration of uh, neutrophils and macrophages in the respiratory mucosa. Now these neutrophils and macrophages they release proteases uh, that is enzymes that break the proteins. Now neutrophils they release uh, an enzyme called as elastase. Uh, so neutrophil release elastases. Now these elastases they break the elastic tissue uh, that is primarily uh, present in the alveolar walls and uh, macrophages they produce metalloproteinases which destroy the connective tissue. Now this connective tissue is found supporting the alveoli. Uh, this connective tissue is found supporting the alveolar ducts, uh, respiratory passages like the respiratory bronchioles. Uh, 
So there is destruction of uh, alveolar wall and uh, supporting tissue and there is also destruction of uh, uh, alveolar capillary network. Now as the alveolar walls are destroyed, uh, there is destruction of uh, gas exchanging tissue. Alveolar surface area required for the gas exchange is reduced uh, which causes difficulty in breathing. Whereas destruction of alveolar capillaries results in poor gas exchange and because of the poor gas exchange there is low uh, ventilation, there is poor perfusion uh, and uh, this results in the low oxygen in the blood called as uh, hypoxia. Now a reduced alveolar surf surface area reduces uh, the uh, property of elastic recoil and this results in uh, difficulty in expiration that is a reduced expiratory uh, flow rate and uh, thus the air remains trapped in the lungs uh, further there is narrowing and collapse of the respiratory passages due to the destruction of uh, supporting connected tissue and together uh, this results in the shortness of breath difficulty in breathing now let's understand uh, how the destruction of uh, uh, of the wall of the alveoli results in emphysema with the help of a diagram Now this figure uh, shows a normal healthy alveolus with intact wall. Now this wall of the alveolus is shown here in the blue color. It is made up of single layer of squamous epithelial cells with the elastic tissue. Now respiratory passages for example the alveolar duct is supported by the connective tissue. So the supporting tissue is made up of the connective tissue. Now during inhalation uh, the wall of uh, the alveolus stretches like that of a small balloon and air with the oxygen fills the alveolus. Now uh, since the wall of alveolus are intact and possess elastic uh, tissue, there is elastic recoiling. Uh, so the alveolar tissue stretches when we breathe in and the alveolar tissue comes back or the alveolar tissue springs back to its original size when we breathe out. And this results in the effective expiration. And this is because of the elastic recoil. This is because of the presence of elastic tissue in the uh, wall of the alveolus. Now look at the figure 2. Uh, this is the damaged alveolus of uh, emphysema. Now elastic tissue that supports the uh, wall of uh, alveolus is destroyed in emphysema. So there is reduced elastic uh, recoil. After inspiration, the alveolar tissue is unable to effectively recoil and thus it remains stretched and this causes impaired expiration and air trapping in the alveolus. Now secondly, due to the destruction of connective tissue uh, that uh, supports the alveolar duct, uh, the airway starts collapsing. So the alveolar duct starts collapsing and thus the airway becomes, uh, this airway it becomes narrow. And this results in limitation in the flow of air out of the lungs. Thus, uh, we can summarize that uh, loss of alveolar wall, destruction of the elastic tissue in the alveolar wall results in decrease in the elastic recoil. It causes uh, impaired expiration and trapping of air in the alveolus. Apart from this, uh, loss of uh, alveolar supporting structure that is the uh, breakdown of connective tissue results in uh, airway narrowing because of the collapse of the airway and this results in airflow limitation. Thus the breathing becomes ineffective and there is shortness of breath. Now talking about the clinical symptoms of uh, emphysema, uh, the first and the most important is the dyspnea that is the shortness of breath uh, that is difficulty in breathing due to impaired expiration uh, that is uh, there is air trapping in the alveolus. Now dyspnea causes uh, tachypnea, tachypnea is a rapid uh, breathing and it occurs because the body tries to compensate for the lack of oxygen due to dyspnea. Then wheezing or uh, the whistling is heard as the air forces itself through a narrow air passage uh, during expiration. Then the tightness of chest due to ineffective breathing. Uh, so these are the clinical uh, symptoms of uh, emphysema. And uh, this is all about the pathophysiology and clinical features of emphysema. 
Now, one thing very important to remember here is this that emphysema and chronic bronchitis are the two diseases uh, which usually coexist and are clinically grouped together as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. And emphysema is a, is a largely irreversible disease. Uh, so, this is all about emphysema. Uh, uh, if you find the video useful, kindly like, subscribe and share this uh, video. You can write your questions in the comment section. Uh, thanks for watching the video.